I was sitting in the dental chair looking at my x-rays while the dentist explained to me all the work that needed to be done. I was confused because only six months ago, the previous dentist hadn't highlighted anything. And in just six months, the diagnosis had changed so drastically. And what made it worse is when I asked the dental practice whether it would be covered by insurance, they couldn't give me an answer. This experience changed the course of my life. And I asked for my x-rays and went deep into trying to decode them myself. I learned about Dental 101, started to learn about how do you spot cavities. It is harder than it looks. And then gave my x-rays for a second opinion. The next dentist had a completely different recommendation. This felt like an art rather than a science. And I realized that this was not just my story. It was a reflection of something much bigger. At the time, I had just finished my PhD and had been working at the intersection of AI and healthcare. So I thought, can AI and technology help solve some of these challenges? So I quit my job and started shadowing dentists. And I founded Overjet to use AI to help dentists provide the best care possible to reduce administrative overheads and to align payers, providers, and patients across one goal, that is improving patient health. In healthcare, we've been taught to believe in trade-offs. If you want better care, it will cost you more. If you want broader access, you'll have to compromise on quality. If you want speed, you'll have to compromise on accuracy. But AI changes that narrative. These old rules don't apply. And we can start to think about changing not only a part of the system, but the entire system. To create a healthcare system that can be defined by abundance, trust, and outcomes. With, with abundance, access to clinical expertise no longer ne need, to, need to be limited by a certain geography or by staff shortages. With trust, clarity can replace confusion and skepticism, and stakeholders can work better together. And with outcomes, we can start to measure and focus on not what we do, but how much healthier patients actually become. Let's explore how that future will look like. For most of human history, healthcare has operated under scarcity. Scarcity of time, scarcity of trained professionals, scarcity of information. But AI changes that. With AI, we can analyze millions of dental x-rays in a year to detect bone loss, cavities, and infections, where each and every x-ray is looked with focus, with precision, without getting fatigued, and helping dentists provide a comprehensive diagnosis confidently every time. So what this means is any dentist anywhere in the world can now get access to clinical expertise of the very best. And patients can finally see what their dentist sees and can understand that the care that is being referred to them. So they can make the best decisions for themselves. And this does not need to be limited just to on the chair side. Because let's face it, no one went to dental school to look at spreadsheets or go into insurance portals or deal with uh, administrative work. They went to dental school to truly take care of their patients. And AI can help in that. AI agents can automate administrative work, freeing up dentists to do what they can do best, providing care. Let's take an example of revenue cycle management, the process with which, which ensures providers get paid. The 
China is very time, cost, uh, time in intensive and requires a lot of people dealing with this information. AI can automate claim submissions, insurance verifications, speed up reimbursements. So, it get, so imagine having a full, unlimited back office team for every dental practice that never sleeps, that never gets fatigued, that never gets sick, that knows every dental procedure by heart and can work diligently. One of our partners explained it best. AI gave us back time, not only for our clinicians, but for our patients. And this is what an AI abundance looks like, where we can have no more admin staff shortages, no more burnout through repetitive tasks, and no more barriers to access to care. Just a world where every clinician has the tools to be the best version of themselves. Every patient can get the care they deserve. And every team is freed up to provide the care and do what humans do best, listen, care, and heal. Trust is the foundation of healthcare, but it's also the most fragile. Providers don't trust insurers. Insurers question provider documentation, and patients, they're just lost in the middle, don't know who to trust. We conducted a survey of 1,000 patients, and only 55% of them said that they fully understand what their dental diagnosis is and the need for the treatment. This erodes trust, but when a dentist shows a patient their x-rays with AI annotations, that brings more clarity. A great moment happened in a dental practice when a skeptical patient finally accepted the treatments recommended by the dentist after seeing their AI augmented x-rays and said, I finally understand why I need this treatment. This is a moment of clarity. This is where trust begins. And we don't need to just build trust and restore trust between patients and providers. We also need to restore trust between providers and payers. That's why we created the Dental Clarity Network, a consortium of the leading payers and providers coming together to reduce administrative overheads, bring clarity into reimbursements, and improve the speed of reimbursements. When people learn that we work with both payers and providers, they get very excited because they can see the transformative power of really impacting the entire patient journey from care delivered to payments. However, some are skeptical because payers and providers have historically been at odds with one another. But the future does not need to be the same as the past. Let's consider the status quo. Both payers and providers remain in their silos, building their own AI systems. And let's take an example of insurance verification, a process with which a provider calls an insurance company to check on the insurance coverage of a patient. This normally can take up to 30 minutes, the exchange of information, holding, waiting, uh, noting down information. Now let's replace this with AI bots. The bot of a practice calls the bot of an insurance company. They start off with niceties because they were expect expecting humans, and then they start exchanging information. There are 30 to 50 fields that need to be exchanged, it takes them the same 30 minutes, if not longer. This is slightly better because you don't have now humans involved, but this is inefficient. This is putting bots on a broken system. We believe in a much better future. With payers and providers are connected through a trusted technology with where they can exchange information through APIs and where AI can work in the background, decoding the information, structuring the information so decisions can be made in real time. Creating a future where patients can get their decisions 
and the answers in real time with instant decisions, no surprises, and a better experience for everyone. Let's face it, patients don't care and don't want to visit dental offices. They want to be healthy and stay healthy. So we need to change the, the conversation from one being focused on procedures to one being focused on healthcare and outcomes. Your mouth isn't separated from your body, it's the gateway to it. Your oral health is connected to your overall health with links to diabetes, cardiovascular conditions, and pregnancy outcomes. So the stakes couldn't be higher. And outcomes are not about just detection, they're what happens after the diagnosis. Did the patient get the right treatment? Did they get the treatment? Did they recover? Do they need to go back to the office? These are the questions which will help us move from one of care delivered to health achieved, and AI can play a role. We started off by, by measuring oral health, by creating an AI-powered oral health score, where AI does not need to learn from only one patient or one visit. It can learn from every data point, every patient visit, across time, across populations. This helps us bridge the gap between diagnosis and outcomes to create a future which is measurable which is me and focused on meaningful outcomes. So what's next? We stand at the edge of a transformation where healthcare is no longer limited by what one person can see or do. With AI, we can create abundance for the underserved. We can create trust where there was skepticism. We can create outcomes which were unimaginable. But for this, we need boldness from all of us. Technologists, clinicians, peers, and patients. We need to not be okay with just a healthcare system that's slightly better. We need to create a healthcare system that's fundamentally smarter, much more efficient, and more human, powered by AI. Thank you.